This was Bernie Mountain Guest Ranch. Well, it still is Bernie Mountain Guest Ranch. It's just my experience that I had here is now past tense. That was a great time. Showed up there at about four o'clock yesterday and got a shower, some laundry, got a warm dinner, got a nice breakfast this morning, got my resupply, feeling quite prepared to continue taking steps toward Mexico. Look at that, nice water cache. Thank you, water cache people. I walked by this and barely noticed it, but I'm pretty sure that's the, the 1400 mile marker. That is hilarious, well played someone. This was a five star break spot, but gotta get out here and get back to it. It is four o'clock now, so it's starting to cool off, but it has been really hot today. Mostly exposed with uh, little patches of shade that I've been stopping in pretty often. It's like on one hand, yeah, I could use some water right now, but on another hand, I don't need it. And I can make it to the place 2.2 uh, miles away that doesn't have cow shit bringing themselves. It's about 6.30 p.m. now and I'm about 17 miles in. Just hit water cache 22 which is uh, well stocked and pretty reliable. Now I'm just looking for an awesome campsite overlooking this uh, view here. I'll have you know that right now I'm wearing my hat like this, not because I'm, you know, repping, but because it's blocking the sun out of my eye. I did happen to see how many people just dropped off the video. Like YouTube gives you these analytics on your video so you can see like where people are, you know, re-watching or dropping off. And I've never seen such a big drop off as in that, uh, when I did that every day I'm hustling clip. Oh, just off a cliff, like about 25% of people just got the hell out of there right there for that video. So I'm not doing that. I'm blocking the sun. So I'm, I'm sleeping on this wonderful little bench tonight. Just got my bag there to make sure it doesn't fly away. Um, looking forward to this. This is a great spot to cowboy camp. Absolutely nothing around. Some city lights over that way. But other than that, we got a little like... I think it's like a decommissioned communications tower and just a whole bunch of stars. Slept on a bench last night. supply at this uh, old station fill up market right here they got a lot of goodies heading on to Belden now almost a hundred miles until I get there got a nice yard sale going here gonna camp real close to this creek tonight Sun is rising on another day out here. I think today I'll be entering the uh, recently reopened park fire burn zone.
passing by Mount Lassen. Nap spot right there. There is Lower Twin Lake. Thirteen, honey. Yes, that was a wolf that howled at me last night. That is pretty wild. I had heard that there were wolves in California years ago, um, that like one came into California and went back into Oregon, but I had no idea that there were actually packs of wolves in California and uh, got visited by one last night. There's one of its tracks. That is a pretty darn big paw print. Starting the day, 58 miles south of the little town of Belden, which will be my next resupply point. So I got a long day today, long day tomorrow, and then a little shorty on Friday. Okay, I just found a peanut M&M on the ground, and uh, I think I have to do this. Been climbing a lot the last few miles. I came through somewhere through there today. And uh, only a couple miles from the halfway marker. That is pretty exciting. <sighs> Holy fuck, man. Been a long time coming. This is definitely one of those moments where I'm feeling like it's actually me this time. It's not a video. I mean, for you, you know, it is. But for me, this it's not a video. I'm actually fucking here right now. And it's, uh, it's blowing my mind. My heart is so happy to have half of this journey left. And the rest of my body is like, what the fuck are you doing to me? Um, wow. Wow. Morning. So from what another hiker was saying, it looks like I'll have the rest of all of today in a burn zone and then some of tomorrow as well. It's long, it's hot, it's inhospitable, and it's all part of it. Getting up into some more mountainous looking terrain. A lot of breaks today. This is my third one. Um, I'm kind of whooped. It's been either, I forget, eight or nine days in a row that I've hiked at least 20 miles, with one of those days being 19.4. But still, a lot of miles on the legs. Uh, I'm gonna keep chugging away, gonna keep taking breaks. It was kind of a slow and lethargic day on my end. 
ended up getting my 20 miles in anyway, but that was only because I, after the last water source, I read about a campsite that I didn't, didn't really like, so I kept continuing on until I found this spot, which is pretty cool. Setting up camp, got 15 miles left to get into Belden tomorrow, and I'll try to get there kind of early so I can enjoy the day and relax a little bit there. Made it to Belden Town. They got the hotel, general store, and restaurant all in one place right here. This is the camping area, just anywhere on the grass here, right across from the uh, restaurant general store lodge. Yep. Some kind of motorcycle people festival in Belgium. So, it's great. 